Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we'd like to share how to integrate our sine x with respect to x. In this video, we are going to apply the integration by parts. Let's recall the formula. Integrate u dv is equal to u times v minus integrate v du. We can let u be equal to our sine x and integrate dv be equal to integrate dx. Differentiate u with respect to x, we obtain 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx. Integrate, differentiate, cancel each other, left only v, and so for the right hand side, left only x. We can now substitute, so we have equal to u, which is sine inverse x, times v, which is x, minus integrate v so x times du which is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx for the second part i'm going to apply integration by substitution so we can let y be equal to 1 minus x square differentiate y with respect to x we obtain differentiate 1 is equal to 0 differentiate negative x square is equal to minus 2x so which means that dx is equal to dy over minus 2x let's substitute into the second term so which means that integrate x times 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx is equal to integrate x remain 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared we let be y so it's y and dx is equal to dy over minus 2x so which means that this is equal to x cancel with x no more and the constant negative 1 over 2 we can take out so we have integrate y square root is equivalent to power 1 over 2 but this is denominator so with power negative dy and when we integrate we should take power plus 1 over power plus 1. Remember to add the constant c. So this is equal to negative 1 over 2 times y minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is positive 1 over 2 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 positive 1 over 2 at the constant c. So 1 over 2 cancel with 1 over 2. We left only negative y. 1 over 2 which is square root and y is equal to 1 minus x squared remember at d so which means that we have integrate of sine x dx is equal to remain x times sine inverse x minus negative so negative negative becomes positive square root of 1 minus x squared at the constant c and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you